Good morning. It's the end of February. Well, I think it's about the 23rd, 24th, not sure. Took a bit of a gamble on coming out this morning. Uh, got reports of snow coming across the roaches. Probably a bit of sleet as well. We had some fall last night, as you can see. We also got promised a bit of fog, and sure enough, there's, there's fog settling around the hills. So, you know what, I'm going to risk it. I haven't been out for nearly a month because I had a poorly foot. And uh, while well, I was going crazy. So, uh, here we are at the Roaches in the Peak District. I'm going to take a walk up to one of my usual haunts, which is the, the sort of treed area. Uh, just below the rocks up there and I'm going to try and capture some of this uh, misty magic Let's see how it works out This is a largely unplanned track of course I just saw that the weather wasn't bucketing down with rain or blowing a gale uh, which is Oh, I uh, lost two of my lenses. Oh, still not over that. I've just paid the repair bill. So I thought, yeah, let's get out there. Let's get up to the trees. I can't go far because I've had a bad foot. If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. But well, yeah, get out there. Take a mild risk on the snow. I don't think it's going to be too bad. And see if I can catch this fog. And I've got to say, looking at what's ahead, I think there's a chance of some shots. I may come to regret those words. I've shot this tree a few times. First I've seen it with this uh, kind of lovely frosting of, uh, I guess, snow and ice. But then I see this sign. No access ahead, please find an alternative route. The path is blocked, uh, closed. Uh, just dangerous storm damage trees near the path. We're working to make this route safe as soon as possible. While well, they're asking, they're not demanding, are they? All the best trees are up that way. Mm. Gonna get the shot of my tree. Uh, unfortunately, it's gonna be Photoshop to get that sign out of the way. It won't be too difficult. Just annoying that you've got to do it, you know. It's, it's just one of those things, those sort of first world problems, isn't it? Uh, but the, the composition itself is pretty straightforward. The trail leads up to that tree. Uh, not much you can do about that because that's the trail. Would have been nicer to have something a bit more uh, natural and organic there. But the tree's fantastic. Uh, I've left, there's the, the clump of matter there. I've kept that out. I think it unbalances it. Um, I've not got the, let's just sort of show you the, the rocks here. I've not got them in. I've just gone straight for the middle, really. I'll show you on the camera. That's probably the best way of doing it. Okay, here we go. So, as you can see, basically I wanted all of the branch in there. It sweeps around here. And play with your focus a little bit. Um, it's only on F4, so I'm not so worried about the background. Don't care so much that it's a really grey, cloudy area, because all of the white in the rest of the picture just balances out the cloud. It's not too bad. Well, the, the grey sky, let's say, it's not too bad. Also, the snow is falling again. Which is not a bad thing. Um, we may actually get a result from this. Uh, I, I'm going to take a few shots now. And they're going to wait and see just in case these flakes get that little bit bigger. Because I think that could work some magic for this shot. a few more shots with the camera phone with the iPhone today I've been getting some great results and it's so handy to have on you when you can't bring your big equipment out or especially if you all your lenses are away to be repaired but first shot I'm going to do with the phone today is this one it looks like uh, this is one of the trees that Eunice had away with you can see the the inside of the tree there 
it's got all that lovely orangey brown and then the the light coating of snow across it and just show you it leads up to there you go that sadly that magnificent tree has fallen and no doubt this will be you know chainsawed away very soon so this is a you know it's going to be one of those one-off shots and i can just take the picture with my phone marvelous so i'll throw this one up show you how it turns out Okay, I think there's a shot here, but I don't, I don't know, because really what I'm drawn by, and I'll try and zoom in in a bit, I'll, I'll do, a, do a cut to so you can see it, but all of the trees here have got tiger stripes, best way I can describe it. They banded, the snow has banded down them. <sighs> Whether there's a composition there, I, think I, just, I just like those trees. I like that idea of stripy trees. So there are some fallen logs with snow on, so that could, could be could be the foreground for me but th there's not a lot in front of it so it may not work but i'll give it a go and i'll, I'll give you a close-up of these trees hopefully you can uh, see this now it's great i love it this could be practically be black and white uh, and maybe that's what i'll shoot it in i'm not one for black and white photographs but you know maybe there's something here Now, I shot this scene a few times before, different weather conditions, of course. One of the things about places you'll visit frequently is you'll find you're taking lots of shots of the same thing, but don't let that put you off. You can find some amazing new compositions just with a change in the light and certainly with a change in the weather. Uh, so this, this rock always catches my attention. See, it's just a big, big, big thing there. Um, there's a tree. I think this was here before, uh, but obviously the exposed bit there's a bit whew, bit much so i'm definitely not going to put that in that that's too much for my composition this has got this i've got to keep that balance of black and white basically now there is some greenery around the edge around the lip if you will so i think i think that's that's where the focus is going to be and i'm hoping that color it's probably going to need just a little bit of enhancement in light to room it's not it's not cheating um, but I'm going at a different angle. I've done a few things from here in the summer because I had different foreground in the summer. There was different colours to play with. So this time, I've gone over to the edge and uh, I'm going to go up at this angle and I'm going to see how that looks. So I want to catch this because there's bits of green in here as well. There's bits of green in this, in this uh, I don't know what it is, fear. I don't know. I don't know trees. And hopefully it'll sort of lead into that. Let's uh, show you on the camera. Okay, so here you can see, uh, you see I've kept the tree in there running along. There's that lovely bundle of, uh, I'm gonna call it fir. Please feel free to correct me. Then we lead into the, to the stone, the big stone there. And then we've got that sort of mess of a background. Probably gonna need a bit of shadow work on that, I would imagine. But I think that could be, now I'm gonna do a few. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. The beauty of this, don't forget, I'm using a 50 megapixel camera. So it's not a medium format like the big boys are using. Um, everything I use is very accessible, I think, to most people. Uh, and I do have the Canon M50 in my bag as well, which I use a lot more than I used to. So, you know, budget camera to do some great shots and the phone. There's, there's nothing to stop me taking photographs, you know. Um, and it should be the same with you guys. So there you go, that's gonna be the shot. I hope this works out. Might be the last one of the day as I've gotta to go to work, unfortunately. It's now, uh, I think it's about 8.30, so I've gotta shoot off.